بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما اخلق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي الى صراطك المستقيم وعلى اله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم We are greeting all our Muslim colleagues and therefore we wanted to talk about a topical subject. Indeed, Often the Muslim is likely to be tracked by trials. These are certified by the Quran as an integral part of Muslims' life on earth. The Prophet of Islam, Sayyid Ahmad peace be upon him, is the best of the curated beings. Despite everything, he was the most tested man in his life. And God chose him to send him to contribute to divine mercy in all generations, in all universes and creatures. That's why Allah said to him, We have only sent you as a mercy to mankind. All the obstacles, pain, misfortune that can affect a Muslim, we should know that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had suffered all of this. But he always showed endurance, courage, resilience, because he knows that Allah always tests his friends during their life. He had therefore armed himself with willpower until he succeeded in his mission. It is through these trials that the Quran reminds us that it is to God that we belong and it is to him that we return. In this context, whatever the nature of the test, Muslims must be aware of the meaning of this verse by first accepting the test that falls on them. To be counted among the martyrs of Islam, and if Muslims are spared, Allah reserves a reward for them on the Day of Judgment. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that those who are victims of these natural disasters, such as earthquakes, fires, floods, etc., will be appeased before the beginnings of the final judgment, and they will be told that no fear or affliction will touch them. This is going to be the objective of our declaration, which is addressed to all Muslims of the world, and particularly our brothers who are based in Turkey and Syria. We recommend to all Muslims community, starting with me, to arm ourselves with patience and to accept the divine will. We all know it's a difficult situation because in Turkey, there had already been an earthquake that killed more than 8,000 people in 1999. We feel it too in Istanbul. But this earthquake recently produced in 2023 is one of those that caused the most deaths. Because more than 28,000 victims have already been recorded, while the toll could still increase. 
So it is very distressing, but this often happened in Muslim countries, like the example of Indonesia, where earthquakes are very frequent. But after all, Muslims must take it philosophically, that is to say, accepting the divine will, but also knowing that life is like that. These trials could be a remission of sins that would arm the Muslim in the hereafter, or sometimes Allah just to test the faith of the believers. Right after the FK, I followed an atheist claiming that he recently saw the Quran publicly burned in a non-Muslim countries. So normally this is where the earthquake should occur, but the latter happened in a Muslim country, so it can challenge Islam and its ideology. These kind of messages are one of those that can destabilize the faith of a Muslim if the latter does not pay attention to it. Because those who do not believe in Islam and its detractors often profit from these occasions to attack Islam and the faith of Muslims in order to make them doubt. But the believer who mastered the teachings of the Prophet and followed his sunnah cannot be destabilized by this allegation. It is similar to the story of the Prophet when his son Ibrahima passed away on the feast day. The disbelievers wanted to create doubt among the companions by bringing back a comparison with the story of the Prophet Ibrahim and Ismail. But the companions of the Prophet ﷺ had rejected these fallacious analyses and remained on the message of the Prophet Muhammad and continued to work with him on the Islamic ideology, which is that of the Quran, because the Prophet did not create anything, Allah testified to him, that he utters nothing under the effect of passion. It is nothing but an inspired divine revelation. Every Muslim should take this as an example to preserve their faith against anyone who wants to cast a doubt on their mind or invent untruth about Islam. This is a recommendation that I address to all Muslims staying in Turkey and in Syria. The last point is that how the world is moving in this period of end of time. For that, we should know that all of these are part of the signs of the end of time. Prophet Muhammad predicted that the end of time is a time when troubles will prevail in the world. If you can hear me saying that these disasters should be taken with philosophy, where we learn from, that is to say, through information from the Arab world, and some predictions of the Prophet, which are part of the universal speech written in the celestial manual, the elected one of Allah knows that these disasters have been planned in advance. Since the earthquake is not new, I mean these deadly categories, they have already been planned. And one of them was planned in Europe, the other is Asia, and the last one is the isolated coastal regions of Asia. So, there are three earthquakes to occur. The three earthquakes that must occur are related to the mission of the end of times. Indeed, these who follow the hadith have learned that Imam al-Mahdi once appeared in Mecca will be attacked by an army coming from Syria. But this army will be slowed up by the land between Mecca and Medina. These earthquakes are actually bridges that prepare for such events. It should be noted that these earthquakes are phenomenon of the end of time and they can occur in any country 
whether it is in Europe, in Japan, or in Muslim countries. For instance, if this had happened in Saudi Arabia, this should not shock Muslims. They just need to know that this is part of the signs of the end of times. Now, those who want to cause doubt in the hearts of Muslims or make fun in Muslims should know that whatever is to happen has been planned in advance by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when time has come, everyone will see it for sure. Those who are listening to the universal speech of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which comes from the hidden side, are informed of these realities. And everyone will live a day when they will be suffered from the consequences of these disasters. Talking about the United States of America, which is the first world power in terms of armings, if you refer to the celestial manual of which I was talking, and which contains the universal speech of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, it was mentioned there that the United States of America can in no way be neutralized by arming. It is natural disasters that will neutralize them. That's why those who declare war against them must know that the United States cannot be neutralized by arming, no matter what the nature of the weapons. What can arm them is in the natural disasters such as earthquakes, floods, etc. This teaches us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has predicted everything in the universal speech of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The ladder contains everything we experience from now until the end of time. That is why whatever may happen, the Muslim must take it philosophically and show gratitude to his Lord, knowing that everything that has been predicted by Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and everything that the Holy Quran has mentioned or conveyed through the prophetic words, his companions or the messengers of Islam, these predictions will never change regardless of the length of life. Therefore, let everyone take these events philosophically and against the detractors, let every Muslim take as a difference the Quranic verse. Then, if they return away, say, Allah is enough for me. There is no God but Him. In Him, I place my confidence, and He is the Lord of immense throne.